Hello everyone, with the new update a lot have changed, helmets have been added to the game, the mechanic concerning stalled items have changed, guards got a huge speed boost, and ghost bears made their appearance. In this ever more dangerous world, you must have a good support in your team. That's what this whole guide is about. For this role, the best class is the Spearman. As weapon, we need one with Impale. This ability makes you knock back an enemy. That can be useful both to protect your teammates and to provoke an attack of opportunity when used in combination with other skills. You can get these type of weapons by simply forging them. As for oils, I suggest going for Perforation and the Braves Oil. Perforation Oil is the most underrated item in the game. It increases your damage output by a lot, and it's by far the most consistent offensive oil. That being said, the Braves Oil is the MVP of this build. Each time you use a skill that requires a Valor Point, you get one Valor Point back. Which means if you have Orderly Buff, which doubles the Valor Points you get, you receive two Valor Points every time you use a skill that requires one. That, combined with the Braves Oil Concentrate, which got fixed in this patch, makes you effectively generate Valor Points at each action. Moving on, let's talk about helmets. You can use whatever medium helmet you like, as long as it has good stats and willpower bonus. What's really important is to get the Galvanizing Shout skill. To get it, you need a Master Tinkerer to dismantle the Deserter's Light Helmet, the Looter Helmet. You will then receive a Galvanizing Shout stamp that you can apply to your helmet, like you do with layers on the armor. The Galvanizing Shout will inspire your support and one of your companions doubling your speed and giving you the possibility to reach overextended party members. As for the armor, use layers that give both strength and guard, possibly the colossal reinforced layer of the horse. Now let's talk about skills. Skills can be acquired by leveling up and some of those can be upgraded with a book, a skill mastery book. All the skills I will be showing you are the upgraded version. The level 2 skill to choose is a Valorous Support, since uh, with this build uh, you will always want to end your turn uh, next to an ally. With uh, this skill you will uh, get uh, one Valor point at the end of your turn. Next, Rallying Cry. This uh, gives fury to your allies, so their next attack damage is increased by 50%. That actually means uh, this skill deals hundreds of damage. At level 5, we have Team Spirit. Just by standing next to allies, this unit and those allies get Brutality, which means they have plus 30% to their damage. This is a very powerful passive if used with archers. Preparedness is a solid offensive skill that can give this uh, unit some attack potential and can help on the cleanup at the end of the fight. The level 10 unstoppable skill in combination with the galvanizing shout from the helmet gives you the possibility to roam all around the field without being blocked by enemies nor by allies. Last, we have Condemn. This skill deals some damage and marks the enemy. Once the target dies, you get 5 valor points. This can be very helpful on those uh, long 3 waves fights. We will also need Vrat, First Aid and Run. This unit is also very good at being uh, your second appointed lieutenant, since uh, it can reach the other troops uh, wherever they are to give them uh, the orderly buff. Now that we finished this overview, Let's jump into the action and see how this unit performs against 5-star guards. That goes without saying, we are in expert mode. I will just speed up the clip until her turn, but consider that uh, this is a 3 waves fight with uh, 2 reinforcement waves coming. Or at least, that's what is supposed to be. In fact, if you manage to kill all the enemies before the end of the first round, 
the reinforcement will not join and the fight will end. Now it's time for our support to play. First of all, we use our cry to give fury to all our units. Pay close attention to the valor points. As you can see, they are increasing instead of decreasing. Next, we give orderly to all the units that still doesn't have it. And we choose someone to inspire. So we're gonna inspire our uh, archer to give them double the movement speed and also to give our support uh, double movement. Then we use Wrath to kill an enemy and to gain fury. We search for another target to hit and we impale it. And after doing that we come back in order to uh, guarantee brutality to our archers. So we position uh, again, we position ourselves in the middle of uh, the pack and we end our turn with uh, full valor points. As you can see, the archer dealt 960 damage, that thanks to our fury and our brutality, which is plus 80% damage. I think that's all, uh, I will uh, speed up uh, the clip until uh, the end for those of you who are curious about uh, the result. Thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.